Looney Farm Guy here, and this is Cow Barn XL by FSG Modding and FSG Tasman for Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl for this test and demonstration of this beautiful big barn. Uh, cow barn complex really 16.64 megabytes to download it is 40 slots on console we'll find it under animals and cows two hundred and fifty thousand dollars as i said it is quite a large uh a large barn but um it holds uh 500 cows so that's not really bad it's actually quite uh quite nice it's one of the nicer ones i've found uh, we do have alternate colors too uh, i think it believes it's it said 22 different color options so uh yeah you can change the look of the outside any color you want <clears throat> also r bottom right hand corner you see cow barn xl 600 dollars a month or 50 dollar no wait a minute where is it uh, t -t turbines, $250 an hour income. So if we take a closer look here, these turbines up here, if I can get a better look at them, those will generate $250 per hour income. Capacities, we'll show the capacities uh, right away. Let's get our help windows on. So um capacities let's take a quick look at that straw two hundred thousand dollars food capacity four hundred thousand liters also manure capacity four hundred and liquid manure four hundred thousand liters milk storage two hundred thousand liters so we know our capacities it has a built-in manure um manure pit uh, milk here we're going to test that slurry comes out here we're going to test that these outside lights are all automatic so when it gets dark those turn on as you can see these fans are going that's nice we have interior ceiling fans nice area here um oddly enough no cows appear in here they're all outside out there we're kind of we'll, we'll come around there in a moment So, Siri was like, <laughs> Siri is listening to me. Uh, turn on light, circle, and that will turn on these lights in here. As I said, these lights here, like this light, and the exterior lights are automatic. They come on when it gets dark. So we have two, actually, sections, a left and a right, or north, south, east, west, however you want to place it, divided by... An interior kind of room here this door opens and closes to the exterior so you know you can uh, open these gates don't open for yes it's odd that this gate doesn't open here and let any cows in that area that's no wonder there's no cows there this gate doesn't open yes oddly enough however let's get out of there um they do have access to that side in there right it's fairly simple and straightforward there's no doors here we have gates over here that open and close this is where your animal dialogue is i have 500 cows as you can see here so these doors open here for your trailer to load cows cows etc we have this is not does not open so some some gates do open some gates don't but um that's really just as they say aesthetics <clears throat> uh role play and so forth so it's not the most role play ish but, but it does look nice i mean i'm not criticizing i do like it the design is nice uh access we will <clears throat> test out uh how easy it is to unload i use the vans here to unload easily so that's quick but what we're going to do now is we're going to see how things pan out after we sleep overnight so then we will see what transpires so we'll see you in a minute all right so how has everything shaked out let's take a look here we have 
uh, milk, we got milk. We have straws gone down um, about a quarter. Slurry, we have 124,000 liters of that. Uh, food has gone down by just a little less than half. I mean, more than half, shall we say. So it's 400,000 capacity. We're down to 224. So all good there. We have some spillage here of the manure. How much manure did we produce here? Oh my. Um, 97,000 liters. That's a fair bit of manure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, right. Okay, so let's um, let's show you where the food goes in. I have a tractor with some food in a trailer, a low-ish trailer. I don't. I wouldn't bring a really tall trailer in here for reasons we will probably see in a moment. Right, so let's dump this in here. This is where the food, the food can either go in here or up further. We'll show you. Okay, so that's that's a good clearance. I wouldn't, as I said, I wouldn't take a really big, um, a really big trailer in here necessarily. It does only hold 400,000 liters, so um, it should be relatively easy to put food in there let's check out the manure pit here to load yes yes very easily loads manure there all right so straw where does a straw go in I we will show you that it can loose straw or bales it does take bales I have liftable bales here I will show you where they go in they can go in either in either spot so you can fill food or bales as you can see bales disappear and they go in there uh, also hay and grass you can put the hay and grass bales in here for food as well although your productivity won't be as much with hay or grass so yes it takes bales that's where they go the same place the food goes in right so now let's test the slurry output slurry yes so slurry works very nice we're gonna zip over here to the milk and yes the milk trigger works so everything is working just fine and it looks good doing it so a very nice self-contained barn cow barn the cow barn xl by fsg modding and fsg tasman thank you all for watching and remember, it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.